A mystery in Jackson County. Two commercial airline flights potentially put at risk because of someone on the ground with a laser and a drone. As John Sherrick explains, both are serious offenses. In the skies high above Jackson County, Georgia, some 50 miles northeast of Hartsfield Jackson Airport. On January 27th, the pilots of two commercial airliners each complain about potential dangers coming at them from the ground. First at 5 p.m., the crew of PSA Airlines Flight 5490 flying from Charlotte to Little Rock enters Atlanta airspace and tells the FAA they see a red drone. They say they spot the drone when they are 20,000 feet above Jackson County. Three and a half hours Hours later at 8.30 p.m., the pilot of Delta Flight 2004 overflying the Athens, Georgia area tells the FAA that a green laser from Jackson County had entered the left side of the aircraft. A Jackson County Sheriff's deputy drives into the darkness that night looking for a drone and a laser, and he finds a drone flying in the area, and he sees a green laser in the sky for a moment but does not locate the sources. A single drone strike, potentially catastrophic to the plane, passengers, and crew, and a laser strike can instantly damage a pilot's eyesight. The investigation officially still open with a lot of unanswered questions. By law, drones in most cases are not supposed to fly above 400 feet, but a drone reaching 20,000 feet? That would be rare. And technologically impossible for most drones on the market. Whatever the altitude, the FAA receives more than 100 complaints a month of unmanned aircraft sightings in restricted airspace. And in 2017, there were more than 6,700 laser strikes on aircraft, a 250% increase since 2010. Drone and laser violators face years in federal prison. So someone who is in this area of Jackson County could be in big trouble for not leaving the high flyers alone.